guys and welcome to another episode of how to minecraft we're starting a little earlier today and won't be able to do as long an episode as usual because uh, i'm actually heading out for dinner with some friends are actually meeting up uh in like half an hour but i'm gonna join them a little later just to make sure i get some how to minecraft action for you all today it does make evenings very tricky everyone's if anyone's like hey you want to do dinner around seven eight i'm like no i can't have how to minecraft but today i was like okay i'll be there i'll be there late also, I am going to a music festival tomorrow, so I think, potentially, I may do the stream when I get back very late, so later than usual tomorrow. I may be slightly tipsy, may have consumed some alcohols, just a word of warning in advance. Um, so yeah, I think, I don't think I'm going to get time to pre-record because I'm going out this evening for dinner and then out for drinks. And then I've got this festival tomorrow, so probably a late stream tomorrow night, but... Let's get back on the server and let's get some action going. Obviously, the server is a ghost town right now. A special welcome to our new members, Trevin Party, Anonymous69, and Caleb Lowe. Welcome to the channel with the membership perks in the back. We have a gift. It is, it is the promised. It is the promised. Nati's Blessing is what my sword, my bow is now named. Thank you to the boy that is Pizza Hut for that um, equipping right there. Oh, you know what? My music is... My volume's turned way up from uh, from when I recorded in Germany, actually, I think. Yeah, let's move the master down a little bit. That should be better. Okay, so we don't even have a spare axe, do we? I'll break this by hand. Uh, so we've got this new bell. I may as well start um, stowing away. So this is... I can give this back to Donnie. If he gets on today, he can have his bow back. We're slowly going to be returning my stuff to him. I want to do that as quickly as possible. The last episode was a roller coaster and a train wreck. All simultaneously. I've since added pressure plates to get in and out of my house. Which just makes life a little bit easier. Um, it was something that you guys suggested. How did two chicken get in there? I have no idea. I saw a wandering trader. He was just chilling there earlier on today. But he didn't have any good trades. And uh, today's kind of end goal is to go and explore the deserts. See if we can find any desert temples. Because I haven't really been to any deserts yet. Any desert temples... Or see if I can find myself a, uh, a desert village and maybe even perhaps bring a villager back to our land so we can start trading in some of this stuff. Like a butcher would be really good because I could trade all this meat for emeralds, which would be wonderful. We can grab all our emeralds. We will actually need to replenish the supply at some point down the line. Someone said which festival. That is somewhat of a secret. Um, I want to go and, and, and rave to the music, so I keep that a little bit of a secret, but I'm sure people will work it out. But hey-ho, it's time to enchant gear Oh, because, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't appreciate getting slapped around the place. Lovely. A sharpness four. <gasps> That's a perfect sword, and it matches Donnie's perfectly. Also, did I just... I just hear doors open. Don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. But... Hey ho. Um, okay, someone said the Nether Fortress though, so we can't actually get into the Nether Fortress right now, which is why I hid the entrance to it so I can get first dibs on there when we can eventually get in. But yeah, I love to see that sword. You know what? I should be looking at enchanting another sword because if I can see another sharpness for sword, then I'm going to be grabbing that without a doubt to combine with my sword so I can have a sharpness five. So we're, we're, we're starting to level up as you can see. Deaths are not appreciated. So I've still got my looting sword, which is good. I need to get a new axe. And to be fair, this is a good excuse to get a really high efficiency axe. What's that? Is that the llama making that noise? Oh, there's more llamas. The, the new traveling trader bought an extra llama and that llama stood out front. I think they're talking to each other now. Oh, yeah. We got more llamas. But you will never be Larry. Oh, phantoms, I ain't got time for this. Let me set you guys alight. Hit the sleep. There we go. Quick progressions. You need a fire aspect sword. You guys is right, actually. Yeah, that's the, the main thing this is missing. But it has everything else looking pretty darn nice on it. Let's see. Oh, sharpness three. Low-key tempting. Kind of feeling lucky on one of these unbreaking threes. And someone in my comments said you need to start risking it for these unbreaking threes. Just disenchant if you get something trash. And you know what? Let's see if you was right. Not, not the worst, not the worst, because if I get protection four now, I can, uh, I can combine with those. Oh, looting two, still not exactly high tier. I'm breaking three, tempting. 
Loyalty three. It's not. It's not on our list. Like it's not on our agenda of things to be getting. Efficiency three. Efficiency three on the axe is almost tempting. Like I don't know if we're gonna get much better than that. Hmm. A lot of people are trying to guess the festival I'm going to. No one's actually got it yet. Do I just keep sending for the Unbreaking 3? Like, surely Lightning can't strike twice, right? I've already got boots done as well, which is good. Okay, Protection 3. Not tragic. Not tragic. Okay, we've got one more in here. Efficiency 3. No thanks. Looting 2. Has that not changed? Why do I feel like that hasn't changed? On Protection 3. That's Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, which is not bad. Hmm, indeed. What do we enchant? I mean, I, I could just burn a level here. I just, I don't like the look of anything, so you know what? I'm going to take a power one. I wonder if... I know what happened. The llama walked into the trap. Yike. Okay, so. Who's on the pressure plate? I think it might be the llama. I think the llama's cooked itself now. Cooked llama in the house. Let's store all this stuff back here. We shall enchant when we're back up levels. I wonder if I go and disenchant a bunch of these level 1 books. Like, what am I... Like, that's never going to get put on anything. Smite 1, like, we don't really... Like, Power 1, our bow's looking great. We've got Feather Falling 4, but we... Ah, actually, no, we can add it to those. We need Unbreaking for those as well. We need an Unbreaking Villager. That would be the utter dream. Getting that kind of scale of life. But yeah, I may as well... All, honestly, all these level 1 books. Maybe... I'll, I want to see if I get a level back from disenchanting all these level 1 books. Or grindstoning them, if you like. Efficiency, I'm tempted to keep, actually. Because that right there is actually efficiency three. Which is quite good, because then if I get it on the shovel, I can combine those. But then again, you think how much it's going to cost me to combine those. I'll leave it as an option. If I ever, you know, get efficiency three on, like, say, my shovel. I want to make that efficiency four. We could do that. Okay, let's put these books in. You can't put in two at a time. I mean, the amount of XP is... Pretty minuscule, but... So it seems like different enchants are worth different amounts. Smite seems to be quite a good one. Projectile protection, not a good one. I mean, we've already got efficiency. I mean, it's not really... I don't know if it is ever worth doing. You get the books back, which is kind of a bonus, but... It's not exactly amazing. Right, let's store this stuff away. Let's continue up. I mean, my enchanting days... To be fair, we could do one harvest of the, uh, the crops and get one more enchant. I mean, but then again, I could just do it next episode. I, I'm also online at a, quite a safe time. Oh, yeah, we do have infinity, so we just need the one arrow. So if I see a skeleton, best believe he's going down, and he is yelling timber. So what else do I need to go adventuring, really? Um, oh, I need to make a lead just in the event that... Well, actually, I want to take my horse for uh, exploring deserts. Okay. <laughs> you, you think you own the place, Mr. Llama? You think this is okay? Apparently go closer to the grindstone is a better thing to do. Wait, that llama must have fallen into the thing and got out. This llama is a living legend. And you can get on him, but you can't control where they go. Alright, well, he lives here now. I'm not, I'm not one to evict him. The turtles. Yeah, actually. Let's see if the scoop price has been uh, nerfed. We got some more scoops, hopefully, in the house. Let's see. See what we got. I still need to quartzify the other things. We have plenty of quartz. Nine scoops. I feel like I had more before. I know that's just from all of these guys. I mean, realistically, we're going to cause big server lag. We have to... Oh, I just yeeted him onto the turtle legs. That wasn't smooth. You know, I should, should breed these guys with some seagrass and kill them. I mean, <sighs> scoops are good money right now, so I can't really be sleeping on them. We don't even have any spare seagrass, do we? We need to go and grab some. Okay. I... Wait. How are these guys parkour? They're parkour legends. They're getting over my lava trap. They're outsmarting me. Do I have some more scoots? No. I think actually I sold some. I think I sold some um, overnight. So yeah, we're at 10 grand. And we look at Battle Top. We're, we're sitting at number three. Nice. I wonder what Scappy and Wildcat have been doing to make Demones. Okay, we got some seagrass, which is good news. Yeah, we'll just go and do a little little uh, KO and breed operation. We really don't need this inside turtle farm right here. But I, I don't have the heart to get rid of it. Where's Tony? Wait. 
Wait a sec. Um, did Tony escape? I don't know. I have no idea. Well, Tony may be one of these turtles just swimming around. I'll, I'll probably have to go on a rescue mission and bring Tony back to the forefront. Okay, so right, let's get some more. I mean, let's just leave these guys to it. I can KO the whole squad when I come back. Okay. <laughs> Wildcat sells drugs for money. Okay, good to know. Make a helmet with the scoots. I mean, yeah, that like will give me an... I think it gives you an Aqua Affinity helmet, I believe. Let's make it... Uh, no, no, actually. Let's go to spawn. Let's see how much these sell for. If they still sell for three fifty dollars a piece, we should keep selling them. Because it's a very nice cash flow. This is like two and a bit grand, which... Let's go and work out equivalent sale. Oh, the Ladman's killed Tony. Oop. I mean, I didn't care that much about Tony anyway. It'd be like that sometimes. So, yeah, if I was to sell, like, diamonds. Like, diamonds sell for 200 apiece. I mean, nine of these at 350, that's like 2.8 grand. That would be equivalent to, like, um, brain six, like 60, like a stack of gold ingots. Or like two stacks of iron. So that's pretty good to say I just literally right clicked to get it. We bought an extra slime block before, so we don't need that. All right, please be high. Please be high price. 200 apiece. They're going down, but we're going down with them, you know? We're going down with them. There we go. I mean... Easy 1800 for something that we can infinitely farm, like at the rate we are. I'm okay with it. How it means you don't lose bubbles for 20 seconds, or you don't lose, yeah, oxygen for 20 seconds. That's pretty darn good, if you ask me. What was the other thing I was going to do when I was back home? I had a. What was it? There was something else I was going to do before I went out. And, oh, make a lead. Yes, indeed. No. Now? Why you do the reboot? Okay, let's get slime balls. Uh, how key is the reboot? We can work on house designs in single player. I wonder how key this rebooterization is. If I run out of string again? Oh no! I've run out of string. Perf reasons. Okay, uh, Discord DM me when we're back up. Oh. Damn it! It's all ready to go on my adventure. Can has three string as <laughs> compensation. Because I think I'm going to take my horse on a, on a little little water mission. So boat out, take the horse to the desert, and then go and explore from there. Alright, okay. Well, we're off. Okay. Well, back into single player to work on, uh, to work on designs. To work on designs indeed. Okay. I mean this is this is the house. As it lives. We got the logo looking like that. I did change it to uh concrete like this. Just get everything laid out nicely. So we've got this all like this. People said actually put the bed on slabs. Can you do that? I didn't know if you could do that or not, but I want to test to see if that's a thing. People were saying pick up the beds like this. Put them on slabs. Oh, that doesn't really help. People gave me the impression you could place them on slabs. See, what I want to work out is how I can incorporate campfires. Campfires into my house. Like, I would love to have, like, a chimney. The biggest problem is, like, we need, like, a two-wide chimney and all of our walls are kind of taken up. I actually have chimneys set up like this. I mean, I could have a chimney like that, but I don't think it's as cool if it doesn't, like, lead to anything below. Like, you can use those to, like, get the cool effect. To make a chimney, but I tried like fitting in a chimney design, it just really didn't work. It's really, really, really didn't work, which is a shame. So we've got the balcony looking like this, it extends like this. What would be what what are we kind of missing in this house? I feel like we're missing stuff in this corner. So we got the got the chest. We got the anvil. We got the we have we have chest. Anvil, and we have a crafting table, don't we, up here? So you have those set out like that. We've got this space to fill here. I mean, I could eventually get, like, a cool villager that sells, like, an Unbreaking Book and have him sat in the corner, like, there. That could be quite cool. I wonder if glass would look better. Glass panes? No, because the way it connects. 
I think fence is going to be the best, the best option there. And what other 114 blocks do we have that we could use? I mean, these are all terracotta blocks, but I don't know where I would kind of utilize these in the house. Let's check out this block. Do a nice, you make a, yeah, a trophy room. That would eventually be in the dungeon. Oh, wait, this, you can actually, oh, that's so cool that you can create, like, literal shapes. Keep an eye on the Discord for when the reboot is done. All right, we're back up now already. Well, we didn't achieve a whole lot, but it was a little bit of research time. Get a water bucket and put on a campfire. It makes the, uh, yeah, campfire go out. Then you can use them to make bridges. Yeah, that would be super cool. That would be super, super cool. But right now, um, let's see if I can get a string, please. <laughs> I'm reaching here. Otherwise, I gotta go back to the abandoned mine shaft or kill some spiders, I guess. So I'm not particularly keen on. I'm trying to think, is there any other easy way to get a string in Minecraft? Mate, you can't come in here. Oh, an armor stand would be cool, and I need to make my logo onto a shield. Those are two key things. For now, we'll keep remembering the pillager battles. We'll take that if we need it. We got food. Aha! Yes, string. You would love to see it. Is that not how you make a lead? There we go. Two leads. Perfection. Okay. We need name tags as well. So maybe when we're out in the desert, like desert temples and all that good stuff, will eventually lead to us having more name tags. So I'll start with just one bout. So I know which way the desert is. It's kind of out that way, like around spawn. So we are going to grab you, my friend. And we're going to take you on the high seas for the first time. Now, I don't have Depth Strider boots, but I don't particularly want to use my own ones because they're not quite complete. But it's fine. We're going to be we're going to be boating because what we do is we grab you like so. And uh, we go. We go exploring to the desert we should go. Look, it doesn't look particularly nice, but you know, I should stay in uh, stay in F5 mode just to make sure that the lead's intact. Look, in season one, this is how we got everything done, and many horses drowned in the process. I just want the horse just because looking around a desert, oh, is that drowned? He does not have a trident or a nautilus shell, sadly. There's another drowned there. Look how fast. <gasps> he's got a trident! Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay, he's throwing tridents, okay, so I need to, you know, my horse will be fine here. I need that looting sword. I'm not risking not getting this trident. Slash home. I'm going to slash home. He shouldn't attack my horse, right? He wouldn't do that. Okay, let me just... Horsey can chill here. He should be fine. All right, let's go home. Let's get the looting sword. Let's run back here and let's kill that dude. That sucker. Okay, so... It's a good thing I still have my looting sword. My looting sword. I'm just going to make a new boat to get back out there real quick. Just in case he does despawn. All right, we're on SAS maneuvers here. Let's go. Bring the looting sword through. Hit the jets. That is uh, a very rare find indeed. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I wasn't feeling lucky. Well, I was feeling lucky the other day, but I'm feeling extra lucky today. Please tell me you're still here. Like, you were aggroed. I didn't go far away. Your trident's are still on the wall. Is that him down there? I think it might be. Yeah. Hello, sucker. Chief, I'm going to need that. Ow. Yo, he hurts. Um, Houston, we have a moderate problem. <laughs> Yo, those things hurt. He's yeeting them. I have to let him come close. I don't have depth stride anymore, so I can't swim to keep up with him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yo, <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> this guy's beating the life out of me. You'll never stop me. I'm too fast. We killed him. Oh, my goodness. Is that it? Wait, hold up. No, they're just his tridents that he was throwing that hit me and fell. <laughs> Look, okay. We gave it a shot, and that's all that's all we that's all we could do. Alright, back on the the mission. That was a little a little exciting moment though. Look, if you don't have a trident, if you don't have a trident, I don't even want to talk. Okay. You know what? Let's grab the other boat. Might as well while we're here. So definitely being kind of on at the more quiet times on the server is the key to finding these tridents. I must say. Okay. Alright, let's keep let's keep uh let's keep rolling. All those creepers. 
looking mighty dangerous. Yeah, I know I don't have a chest plate. I guess I should probably make an iron one, but I don't particularly need one. I'm not exactly doing anything too intense. Yo, someone really has linked up all of these ice islands. Put your horse in the boat. Does that work? You can put a horse in the boat. Everyone's like, you know what? I'll make a chest plate while I'm out and about. I'm sure I will find some cool stuff. I assume that shipwreck has been looted. I, it has to be. People have been all over the place. I mean, whether I... Okay, so is this the desert? I think this is a small desert and there's a bigger one. Not entirely sure, but... You know what? We're fast on the horse. Let's make land here. And let's go and do some explorations. Okay. Alright. Leave the boat here. Come on. To land we go. For a second I saw the sandstone. I was like... Okay, so people have been to this bit of desert. All right, let's get that back. All right, this is my horse. My horse is amazing. Okay, let's get... Oh! It be a desert temple. Okay. Probably already looted, given how close it is to civilization as we know it. But we'll go and do a little, little, little spot check on it. Oh, got to be careful going down these ones. All right, let's get you over here. Skeletons. Actually, I do need one arrow right now, don't I? So if we could... Actually, I should have used a looting sword. That was not smooth of me. If I see spiders as well, I should kill those guys too. What are you? Desert zombies? Do they do anything cool? <laughs> I am new to the world of Minecraft 1.14, I have to say. All right. I don't know what they do. Alrighty, let's check this out. As I said, most probably looted. Oh yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Right, let's kill these suckers. I should probably uh, not just leave my... Ah, he'll be fine, we're just going in quickly. Oh! Okay, not looted you seem to be. I'm glad I bought this looting sword. We're about to get arrows. There we go. And we got them for the super bow. Alright, not looted. Imagine if I uh, fell onto the TNT. Ha ha, ha ha. TNT. Honestly, with the way tensions have been rising on this server, I'm actually very glad to have a bit of TNT. I have to say, unlooted. For me, that is what we love to see. Okay, what do we want? Oh, and you've, I've got so many saddles. But yeah, not much armor. Oh, diamonds and emeralds and string. Oh, we got at least at least our string stocks are replenished. Was that rotten flesh that I missed? No. Golden apple? Thank you very much. I had to eat a few last episode. Believe it or not, saddles are so common in Minecraft right now. Okay, cool. Well, we got a bit of loot for our troubles thus far. Shame we couldn't fortune those diamonds. And, uh, you know, this is Usain Colt, the, the fifth. I don't know why he's the fifth. He should probably be the sixth. That is the name of this horse. Um, yeah. He's, he's just being well behaved. He's not jumped into any cacti. It's fantastic news. Okay, let us keep searching this desert. Make a scoot shop and sell them for 220. I don't think anyone would really buy them for that. I think most people can farm five. Let's not fall into a ravine with the horse. That is like the number one cause of like horse death in Minecraft is ravines. Oh, this looks all... This is a cool bit of land. So I'm just looking for more desert temples for a bit of that loot. Maybe a name tag, maybe some diamond horse armor or something. Whoa, that's floating. I'm also looking for uh, maybe like some desert villages because I know in a lot of the villages that are in the main world, so to speak... Um, a lot of the, what do you call it? A lot of the villagers have been murdered by pillagers. And ideally, I mean, we can't make potions to convert villagers yet. But if I could, like, find a butcher villager, bring him home. Uh, how, however we manage that. And then get some good, like, trades on him. We could just start stacking emeralds from early. Which is the idea. So I and Speedy have a bamboo farm. Okay, so there's bamboo out somewhere to be discovered. Loki want to kind of discover it myself. Rather than rely on Side and Speedy to kind of bring it back to the 
for the homelands. I feel like I, I've earned it more. I feel like I've earned it more if I mine it myself. Wait, is that wheat? Oh, oh, it's a good sign. Oh, sorry, rabbit. <laughs> Why is it that whenever I see rabbits, I just, just think of like how to mine, uh, sorry, cosmic sky. Oh, this is a village. Is it a village? Yeah, okay. Do we have any villages here? We do. Okay. All right, well. They got pigos. All right, we found a village. All right, so I think if I can get them to the sea over there, I can get these guys home. Um, so I need to get them into a boat here and, like, take them maybe all the way around and back over that way. Okay, so let's find a good villager and let's uh, liberate him. He said no. Oh. He's saying no because they've been too th through too much stuff. This is what, chat, I'm going to need you right now. This is where, chat, I'm going to need you guys to let me know what is up with these crazy villages. So you're just not interested in trading. And I don't know what type of villager you are. And I don't know how it would make you interested in trading. I mean, this is a very tiny village or are there more villages out that way? Or have they just been murdered by pillagers and they've seen too much? Yeah, use a boat. I know I can get them in a boat, but... Preferably want to see what I can trade with a villager before. Like, okay, you're a farmer. They're not interested, are they? They're not interested in doing any trades. And it's there's not many of them alive. And I think it's because a lot of these guys got murdered. So how do you make them... The ones with hats have a job. You can change their professions. Okay, we've got a bunch here. Look, this is not, Okay, we've got the whole gang. None of them... It doesn't have a job. It doesn't trade. But this guy has a job and he won't trade with me. Like, he has a job because he's got, like, okay. I'm, I, I, I know, like, a little bit about these guys, but I think that, like, our, like, favor is not high enough. Like, people have killed villagers around here or, like, let too many pillagers kill them. So they won't trade. You have to put a block down to give them a job. I mean, there are blocks down that give them jobs. Like, one of them, for example, is here. Like, if I put a stone cutter, like, one of they, they have, these guys do actually have jobs. Some of them do. Um, but they're still not trading. Okay, it's not any point taking normal villages. Uh, get a zombie village and if you revive them, they'll give you trades that are ten times better than normal. Green shirts can't change their job. You need a... Oh my goodness, okay. Let's, let's go in members only no, mode, see if we got any uh, experts in the membership category. Oh, okay, see this guy... Okay, he will trade. A mason novice, so... He's not really what I'm looking for. You know what I need to do? I need to transform one into a... Into a... Ideally, a, a butcher, which I use a smoker to do. So let me try that right now. Um, I just need some cobblestone, which is not easy to... Actually, no, it's easy to get. Okay. All right, let me try and make a butcher, because that is where I'm going to get some good emeralds. All right, let me get... There we go, eight of that. Let me see if this works out. I also need, damn it, I need some logs. I don't have an axe. I should have, I should have an axe. Sorry, this is slightly tedious. Oh, we're at world border, so. People must have only been here recently. They need some time in front of a block to get that job. All right, well, let's try and get a butcher. I just want to, I just want him to be a butcher before I take him, just in case, I don't know, there's some reason why he can't be a butcher. Should have brought a smoker with me, I wasn't really expecting to find a village. Also, where's my horse? Let's just keep an eye on my horse. So, are you ready to trade with me, brother? Let's see. All right, here, mate. Have a job. See how that works. All right, where is... Okay, horse is being well-behaved here. Let's just keep an eye on him. Okay. Do you have a job yet? Are you... No. All right. So, yeah, you, they need some time in front of a block in an enclosed space to get that job. So, let's put that there and let's see if, see if we can get you to take that job. Or somebody. Or do I just take, take a villager that's red, like unprofessioned, and then get him home and then make, give him a profession then? Col Col Colton Lipke. Boys, imagine not being a member. It works best if they're inside a house. I mean... I could hit, oh, all right, hold up, are you a butcher? 
A butcher. Yes. Oh my goodness, I can sell my raw chicken. Okay, this guy is the guy. He's that guy. Okay, so now we just need to get this dude in a boat and uh, get him back to the to the mainland. Okay. Ha ha ha. They never said it was going to be easy. All right. So, this is where I need the water bucket. All right. Oh, no, this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? I can already tell. Okay, nice. I'm coming to get you. Get in. Get in the... All right, mate. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Vic Soul and T3 and Villages. The saddest of stories. Okay, can we just get you to go down to the boat, please? Okay, he's going down. Towards where the boat is. I'm gonna put some water down there. Well, I'll drive the boat to you. Go in the boat. Go in the boat, pal. Yes! Success! Okay. Stage one done. Um... Okay, now I need to get this boat into the water over there and see if we can sail home. It's lucky that there's water nearby. It's lucky that there's water nearby. Or can I just push the boat while it's on land? I think I might be able to push it. Let's see. Just making sure you're being well behaved. Okay, let's see. No, okay. So what we're going to need to do is we need to put water down over here. And then we boat to there. Alright, are we going to be able to get up here? You know what I think I need to do? Alright, we've still got the villager in the back. I think I need more water than that. I need to put, like, I need to make, like, a water elevator. Or do I use stairs? Wait, let's see if I could use stairs. <laughs> Only in Minecraft can you spend time doing something this ridiculous. Let's make some sandstone stairs. Why not? Alright, let's see if we can use these stairs with, like, the edge of the water. To get this guy to where he needs to be. Okay. That has not worked quite as intended. Alright, so let's get a source block on this level. That's the new plan. Grab from their well. Okay. So we got a source block there. So it should naturally go to the top of the source block. This guy is going to drown. I just have that feeling. Yeah, because if you go into a water source like this, it pushes you down. Do I need to make a piston? I think I, I think I need to make a piston to push the boat up. I honestly think I do. Unless anyone or any of the member squad have got any smart ideas right now. I mean, making a piston is not hard. Oh, I waterlogged that block. Okay. Um, I don't... Because there's no other way to move a boat on land, is there? Because, <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't move a boat on land. Without water, but they, it can't go up a water source block. It'll always be pushed down. <laughs> He's like, where are we going, Chief? Where are we off to? I, I am Captain Captain Longnose, and I'm here. We're going then. <laughs> uh, you won't even trade with me, lad. What have you done? Why have you, why have you got in my boat? He's stolen my life. Okay, you know what? I'm doing it, I'm making a piston. And then I can push it up a block. What do I need? I need iron, I need redstone, don't I? Ah. Uh, that's the key thing that we're missing here, isn't it? Um, he might become a fish if he's in the boat for too long. Get in and you can ride it on land. I'm pretty sure you can't. I mean, I have a bit of a problem now. Oh no. I'm going to make this village a real... I have to break the boat. I have to break the boat because if I kill him, this guy's not going to want to trade with me. He's going to be mad. Oh, no. Zombies are coming soon. Oh, boy. Oh, idea. Use a slab. I can get it. But the thing is, I'll get it on the top of the slab. I'll never get it on the block above. You can drive boats on land too, but how do I get it up? All right. I need to break the boat. Just to get this stupid guy out. We're not interested in him. Okay. You, my friend. We're going that way, and we're giving it a boat. There we go, okay. That was that was nice and fluent. All right, let's try and drive the boat up the stairs on the land. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So can we can we ride it up the stairs? That is the question. 
No. Oh, yo, yo, it's chill, it's chill. I'm not, I'm, I'm looking after him, Mr. Iron. No, it's chill. I know you killed me on Sidecraft, but we're, 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 we're friends now. Yeah, I legit need a piston. Um, okay. Where's my horse gone? Yo, I need to keep an eye on this. Where, where's he gone? Keep an eye on this guy. Damn it. Oh, there it is. You know, I'm going to put him inside with the pigos for now. Alright, you know what, you're going to be well behaved, you're going to stay here until all our work is done. Will he be able to get out from there? Probably not. Okay, and I'll just put a block here that will let me, I mean, I don't even need the block there. Yo, this guy's, this guy's inspecting me. Okay, so I'm going to go and get some redstone real quick to make a piston to boost him back up. I think that is honestly the best plan. I see caves, my horse is safe, he's in the boat chilling. Alright, let's go on a quick redstone mission. How hard can it be, right? Just to get down to depth. Apparently pretty hard. I expected much more from this cave. Okay. Full send. Full send. I ain't got time to be messing around. We got villagers to rescue. Um, somebody said dig to the water. Use a shovel. It's easier. Not actually a bad call, if you ask me. Not actually a bad call. Um, true, because I'm going to take him up and then down. You know what? That's a good idea. I've got a diamond as well, so I'll just make a new diamond shovel. You know what? I like that idea, actually. Because a piston just means I'm going to be pushing him up and down, up and down. Make a canal to the open. All right, let's send it. Make a shovel and just trench to the ocean. Yeah, because we are actually above sea level. I like your thinking, guys. Problem solvers, you be. Because, yeah, the piston would just be annoying. I'd be like, I have to place it, lever it, this, that, the other. Yeah, okay, we're trying to go downhill. Yeah, let's do it. Let's create a, a path. Do not get in the damn boat. Unless, oh, you trade for leather. So some way I could bring you as well, that would be good. We'll get him another day. Okay, so let's make a diamond shovel and let's, uh, let's get some excavation levels as well. And, and added a benefit to the program. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's not that fast. But I guess we actually just have to get through this one and then we can get some water going. Oh, yeah. No, you guys were right. This was the smart thing to do. This was the very smart thing to do. I've kind of scoffed their pathway a little bit. But I'm sure they won't mind too much. All right. Um, get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of that. To the water. We must go, my friend. All right, this guy's name is uh, it's gonna be Paul. No way, he's a he's a butcher. He's Bill the butcher. All right. Just don't. Just we just need to get him home. Oh boy. Actually, does this connect to the sea? Hold up, we need to. Okay, we've got him to the edge of the water. Oh no. Oh no. Hold up a second. We need to go and scout the land to see which way I'm going to boat this guy back. If there is even a way. I just assumed the sea connected over there. Okay. Ow. I am not smooth at all. Excuse me, horse. I would not like to die. Alright. Let's go and... Let's go and... Plan the route. Are you good here? Oh my goodness, okay, let's just, can you, how, how's this, you know, here, alright, you mate, come over here, come through here, alright, cool, hello villager, do not mind me, I'm definitely not sealing one of your people, so I want to test the, t literally test the water, so, if I was to bring him all the way around to here, uh oh, we got to here, we can bring him around to here, but where's this sea that we need to get him to? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's not looking so good. Let me see whether see if the sea leads back the other way around. Bill the Butcher may be in a, a spot of bother here. We may not have any sensible way to get him back to civilization. 
well, our civilization. Let's see where this water goes the other way around, but I have a feeling it goes out of the world border. Please, no. Not after everything I've done. Wait, okay. I mean, we could just start boating out. That looks like ocean. Let's just start boating out and let's just see see where we can get him to. Oh, free XP. Let's just see where we can get Bill the Butcher to. All right, it's time to set sail on the high seas. He either makes it back or he doesn't. It's go time. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything this ridiculous? Luckily, the world border is nice to me here just to allow me safe passage. Boys, this is going to be a long episode. Oh, you know I don't like to give up as well. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Wildcats' cows have, have ripped. So we need to just pull, like, I don't know. Can, can I get the whole way around the world by going this way? I have no idea. We're traveling far and wide. I mean, we... Does this sea link to my sea? Because we crossed the desert. I mean, maybe we can go, like, counterclockwise around the whole world. Let's just hope the whole thing is islands. Do I go through there or around here? I think I'll go... I'll stick to more open ocean. This is looking promising. It looks like we may do, like, a full, like, circular... Or square, I guess. Circumnavigation of the whole world. It looks like I'm, like, doing it around the world. I'm just gonna... I'm scared. I'm like... Oh, that looks somewhat familiar. Oh no, that's a ship. Is that a shipwreck? That's a shipwreck right on the edge of land. Okay, well, I know that my home is around a thousand blocks this way. Oh, we need to watch out for those. They'll steal my horse. So, maybe we make it home this way? I have to make it home as well. Like, if I make it to the other side of like the spawn island... This is going to be a nightmare, because think about how I'm going to move this guy. The whole <gasps> Dolphin! Dolphins are so cool. I, I want dolphins. Look, they, made, they gave me a speed. Are you kidding me? There's another village here. Huh. Okay. Is it active, or is it dead? It looks... Oh, there's a raid here. No, we are not going here. Okay, that village is dead. There are no villages left in that village. As is the case with most villagers. So, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm out here saving these villagers. I'm rescuing them from dangerous, dangerous towns that are being raided by the infinite pillagers. You've got, like, so many shipwrecks, but I'm just going ahead and assuming that they're all looted. <sighs> Vic will be worth it to take two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can eventually start breeding them if I give them all the doors and stuff and the food. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, game, game, I need to go this way. <gasps> okay, okay, this is looking bad. This is looking code red. Oh, no. Do you think we can get the whole way around here? This is like going away from home now. I'm like, I'm like a thousand by a thousand blocks away from home. Let's see if I can go all the way around here. It's looking scary now. It's looking like there may be no route home. Man, I wish I could check all these shipwrecks. Easy materials. Okay, we're moving back around. But I'm just scared. This is going to tend out and we're going to get stuck on the world border again. This is an emotional trauma. Dolphins lead you to treasure, Vic. Ah, I did not know that. Thank you for letting me know, Kebeb. And your flock to the butcher. Yeah, no, it definitely will be worth taking too. All right, we need to turn left here soon. Aha. Uh -huh. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. Because I need to go that way right now. I think this whole water is separated. Like the middle of the map is a massive island. And I've got this guy on the wrong side of the island. And I don't know enough about the land to know like where I could get through, like, where the nearest water crossing is. Oh, no, because we're just going away from home right now. Look, we're literally going directly away from home. Home is the opposite direction. Guys, we may have failed. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't think there's any route back with this guy. I, I shouldn't have crossed the desert. I should have stuck to, uh, I should have stuck to the land that I was on. Because this sea does not connect to home. Like, there's no point getting a villager. I mean, I wasn't really looking for 
villages as such. I mean, I'll get him as close as I can and I'll build him a little hut and maybe we could rescue him at another day when the map becomes bigger. Okay, maybe we'll find a trident along the way. But yeah, this seed is not linked to my sea. Which is no bueno. No bueno indeed. Yeah, look at Drown. Yeah, I just need to go driving around at night on a boat. And then I will find... Alright. Mm, I'll get him to the closest point. F in the chat. Because villages are a nightmare to move after everything I've done. Got this guy stuck. Because this is the way home. But it's still a thousand blocks away. And if you think I'm canaling for a thousand blocks. Or pushing this guy at a thousand blocks. You got another thing coming. Hmm. Oh no. This is the closest I can bring him. Unless... Unless I follow this through and this somehow leads to like a, like a river that leads to the land. But this is the closest point I can get this guy to home from this body of water. Um, which is not what you want to hear. Alright, let's just go and scout, see if there's any more. Ooh. Nah, this is big desert. This is big desert. I'm not getting them across here. But there's another well, which means there's another village, a desert village. So, let me, uh, let me build this guy a little, a little spot. <laughs> if anyone discovers him, they're going to be like, what? Okay. Build him a little safe haven. I don't have any torches, do I? Alright. Let's build him a little containment facility. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll save Bill the Butcher another day when we have more powerful technology. But for the meantime, I think this is where he has to reside. In his... Uh... Uh, he's got his own house. He's living good. It's not going to be a pretty house. I'll tell you that much now. Alright. So let's make it so no mobs can get in. And I just need to light the top of this. Uh, we got some coal here. Fantastic. That has made my life a lot easier. Alright. Well, Bill the Butcher lives here now. Let's put... <laughs> we have to... Oh, I need more wood. We have to put up a sign for him. Alright. Cross the village that's being raided. No. No. That would be a guaranteed death for poor Bill the Butcher. That would not be something that we want to do. Rails to get him home. I need a thousand blocks of rail. That ain't going to happen. Um, okay. This has not gone how I planned for it to go. But we must leave him a legacy. He's a server artifact. <laughs> Wait, I need to let's put it up here. There we go. Bill the Butcher, server artifact. Someone's gonna stumble across him in like 50 episodes and be like, how and why and who? Wait, could drown spawn in there? You know what? Um Let's fill it. let's fill the floor in as well. I don't think a drown could spawn in a one by one, to be honest with you. Um, let me just go out here. Whatever, build the butcher. Okay, we have another village that we want to find. And I'm going to head towards home and see if we can find another village that's closer to home. Um, bear with me one second. Alright, so my home coordinates are... It's around minus 55, minus 240. Um... I mean, to be fair though, maybe I go back to that sea with the edge of the desert. I'm thinking out this way. Because the sea that I rode upon is out this way. So I'm the other side of the desert. Because the thing is, I crossed the desert. 
And then, so if I want to get back to, yeah, this C, if I want to follow this C along, that could be good. I don't know. Mm, wait, actually, wait. No, home is, home is this way. And this way. Oh, we, we, we are a long way from home. We are a long way from home. So, I'm going to go a long way this way. So we need to cut a right. I don't even know how we've explored this. Oh, I guess we did bout for a long time. So we need to go this way. So this is the dead village that we tried to bring in past. Um, wait a second. Yeah, no, home is a long way. Wait, did I go the wrong way over the sea? Hold on. Hold on a minute. I'm tripping. Use the nether portal linking thing. I'm Yeah, but the nether does... Ah, oh, the nether actually... That could be low-key smart, actually. Down the line, yeah, we could do a nether, nether system. You know what? I'm going back. I think, actually... I got my navigation wrong. And I maybe can get him home. No, wait, no, wait. We got... Trapped either side. Wait a second. No, no, no. He's still, it's still the other side of this desert. Home is the other side of this desert. So we want to go like this way right now. I'm so lost and confused. All right. Oh dear. This is not going how I wanted it to. Wait, I want to be this way. Gun. Where do I want to get to? I want to get. So I want to go 800 blocks this way. And then I want to go 500 blocks this way. I think I need to actually. So, oh, I need to go back across this sea to get home. Because I started on the world border, yeah. And I tried to bring him in towards the middle of the world border, which is the geometrical middle of the world. And I could not do that. So I need to actually cross this sea and get back onto that desert. Okay. Bear with. The numbers, the numbers. So home is out this way. Yes. Cool, and then we'll just pull a left to get back to the desert. Okay, we're back on track. We're moving at high speed on the seas. I, uh, I should have taken the coordinates of Bill the Butcher. That is something we should have done. Yes, indeed. This whole bit of land is so confusing. But we want to go back over this way. Yeah, so this is the other side. This is the far side of that desert that I was at. Okay. Wait, is that the turtle spawners? No, it can't be, right? You good? Wait, hold on. What is this? Wait, hold on. We can get him back this way. I just think I went the wrong way. Oh no. Are we ever even going to find him? Oh no. This seat is connected. I just went the wrong way getting home. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I should have kept on going. Ah, uh, okay. Where did we leave him? It was back this way. Oh my goodness. I just needed to go. I was, I should have stopped following the shore and I should have Double back across the entire ocean. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's go. I'm picking back up. Sorry, it's, it's very disorientating around these parts. So if we go back around here, yeah, I was following this away. I do need a map of the damn oceans. Oh, this is so confusing now. I lost Bill. How did... No, because I crossed land again. I think I crossed from that water to this water. It's all so confusing. It's so disorientating. Because it was not far from here. 
I think there's actually a narrow junction between the two sets of water, two, two bits of water. Ah, oh, I have to go to dinner, damn it. Ah, oh, I'm all over the place. Okay. Guys, this is a two part operation. Um, it's been stressful and disorientating. I have to go to dinner because I don't want to be late uh, for my friends at dinner. Um, we are going to have to complete this mission on the next episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my own time, um, retrace my steps back to Bill and work out the logistics for if I can get him home. Um, it's going to be tedious. I'm going to have to re-watch my video to follow my, okay, uh, follow my steps. Someone says they're giving me the quad, so I'll check those. Don't know how they would have the coordinates because I never pulled up F3. But um, I'll put those, note those down. I am going to have to sadly cut short today. I know it is a little, a little feels bad. Um, but I don't want to uh, be late for dinner with my friends. Well, I'm already late for dinner with my friends. I don't want to be crazy late. So, in fact, you know what, let me just make, make him a little safe house. And we will continue the search on the next episode. Like I say, as ever... There's a bunch of people doing how to Minecraft, so tune in with one of them. My horse will be safe there. It doesn't get attacked by mobs. Wait, we need that there like that. All right, he cannot escape from there. He's chilling. I'm going to log out here. I will find Bill. I will be with him tomorrow night on my late episode, and uh, we will work out the logistics of getting him home. Uh, and thank you to anyone that put the coordinates down. For everyone shouting nooch, uh, I'd love to catch up with Nooch and work things out, but I gotta go. But we got we we got 55 minutes into this mission, and we realized we were in over our head. So we complete the mission tomorrow. It's gonna be a late stream, probably like maybe like midnight or 1 a.m. UK time. I mean, it's an Australian friendly stream, so if you're from Australia, make sure to tune in live when you're on tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, I will catch up with Nooch. Um, yeah, probably tomorrow he'll be on. Hopefully, gotta go, live my life a little bit, I've been neglecting it heavily lately, but thank you all for the support and thank you for tuning in, apologies for cutting it short, but I say cutting it short, it's nearly an hour long episode, and I think this mission is going to take another hour, so we'll get it going tomorrow, please, whoa, chill horse, what, admins, he's not horse star one, two, three, he's Usain Colt, and take his name off. And leave him in his safe place. We do not appreciate this. A horse has no name. Okay. Alright, anyway. Um, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all tomorrow. Subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the streams. And all of that good stuff. <laughs> and uh, I will... <laughs> Kenny's an admin. Who knows? I will see you all late tomorrow night. Thanks and goodbye.